Here we go then. So it's eight key questions that any property investor should ask a property sourcer. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, and these are some of the, you know, the key questions we get asked all the time. So then, Adam, the property forecast is a bit bleak. Any point in waiting for the prices before before you source me the property? We're talking about somebody who's not even okay. got you to... That's a good question. Well, that's a great question, actually. Um, we, you get it a lot, of course. Sensible question, I've huh? had this question asked of me mm. in the last seven or eight years at three or four different intervals. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah When Brexit yeah, yeah. was first announced, people said, oh, God, we're doomed. Um, our property price is going to fall. Then that happened. A lender's going to downvalue. Your property price is going to fall. COVID came along. Mm -hmm. Property price is going to fall. People would have said it back in 2008. Mm -hmm. Definitely did. Yep. Any house you bought then has definitely gone up in value since then. Mm -hmm. um, would it have been worth waiting? It depends on you. Personally, I think if you've got a plan and a goal and you want to get there, you stick to it and you, you try to avoid all the white noise and just make sure you buy the right house. That's the key. Yeah. So How whilst, much whilst prices property prices down? might fall in some parts of the country. Property prices meaning yeah. the number displayed Just like on the news or the daily mail. Stocks and shares. Mm -hmm. Some stocks and shares fall and some go up. At the same time as your At the same fall. time, right? And Buy the right that happens. That's happening now in, in, in the property market. because why I you know, need a property sourcer. Yeah, I know that in parts of the south of England, like friends of mine who have, what, who have been looking to sell the house they live in and move weren't going to get as much as what they thought for mm -hmm. it. But then I also know properties that we've been sourcing for clients are just as hard to buy now if not harder Why? and we're paying more for them than we were a year ago okay, or not. so it depends what the property is you're buying where it is if you've got a plan and a goal in mind and you're focused you don't worry about things like that nope. you've got to buy the right house for the right price you've got to think about um, inflation leaving the money in the account how long could you afford to wait the other mm. thing that's important is cycle time. Buying property, which is a great thing to do, it takes a while. Yeah, it might take you two months, three months to get the sure. thing bought. Each property acquisition <laughs> is going to take you some time. How long can you afford to wait? Balance that against mm. how much property prices could actually fall. I mean, the market could fall. I think, I think it was widely reported. Google it yourself because, you know, um, I don't want to say things and get quoted back, but... 13% was the biggest drop, I think, in 2008. It depends which um, Halifax or Nationwide or ONS that you look at. Yeah, and they take the whole of the country. To they're, but they're taking the whole of the country. So if you buy the right house in the right area and the whole of the market's gone down by 13%, what are you really talking about? And then you look at um, inflation. Then you look at the cycle time that says, well, if I wait, in five years' time, I'll have three houses. Where if I don't wait, mm -hmm. in five years' time, I'll have 10, whatever houses. You know, Whatever your ambition is, maybe that's too high, too low, whatever. But you know, the cycle time. There's a thing called cost-price averaging in buying stock shares. And the idea is you can't time a market. It's not trying to time the market. It's the time in the market. That's a separate saying. But cost-price averaging means that um, you just put the same amount in all the time, every time. And... I, I believe that's the best way to build a property portfolio. I, in you're absolutely right, in 2008, it wasn't just a question that got asked. I was told I was an idiot. Mm. Why on earth are you buying that house? I bought houses, I'll tell you, in north of Nottinghamshire. Nottingham, sorry, not Nottinghamshire, Nottingham. Yeah, yeah. I remember, and I'm reasonably new at this, sort of testing myself or you know, ch checking in with myself because I bought a house for £48,000 and then a few months later, I bought another one for £46,000. And somebody said, well, you just overpaid for that one. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you now they're worth 150, maybe 200. You know, that small amount of money at the time. And it was agonised over it. It was worth what it was worth. Just get on and keep buying. Hopefully that's useful. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Bye for now. Thanks a lot.